So yeah, we're not making light of this crazy story, but I, you know, you probably have something in your freezer at home that you would say shouldn't be there. But usually it's like a TV dinner or brown bananas, some kind of an ancient frozen vegetable. Or in the case of this guy in the Bronx, this is not a joke, there was a severed head in the guy's freezer. So police have now arrested this 48-year-old, Sheldon Johnson, after doing a routine wellness check and the discovery of uh, dismembered body parts in his apartment. This is in the Bronx in New York. He's an ex-con to begin with, but the thing about him is he turned into this criminal justice advocate, recently rubbing shoulders with the likes of the Manhattan DA, Alvin Bragg, and even sat down with Joe Rogan to discuss his advocacy work. And I said to myself, I've been doing bad for so long, I'm going to try to do something good. If all else fails, I could always go back to doing bad. But let me try. Not hard enough, I guess, in terms of trying. Um, let's bring Laura Engel in on this, News Nation's Laura Ingalls. Um, Gruesome, beyond gruesome, uh, uh, really, the details of this, but tell us, uh, tell us more about it. It is, and we're still trying to figure out exactly what happened here because you saw that interview, and it looked like he really had his life together. And again, this is just if true. And there have been a lot of people rooting for Sheldon Johnston after his release from prison. He's had this underdog story of rehabilitation, which turned him into that criminal justice advocate you said about. Uh, he's made the rounds doing public appearances, including the popular Joe Rogan podcast. Uh, talking about doing time and turning his life around to help others. And this storyline took this alleged dark turn this week when Johnson was arrested and arraigned on murder and manslaughter charges for the brutal killing of a Bronx man this week. Now, Johnson is also accused of dismembering his alleged victim and putting body parts in bags, bins, and a freezer. Neighbors of the victim, who has been identified as 44-year-old Colin Small, say they heard these two guys arguing Tuesday, and then they heard a man pleading for his life saying, please don't, I have a family. Then they say they heard gunshots being fired from inside Small's apartment. Police allege Johnson dismembered Small and stuffed his body parts into plastic bags and putting even his head in the freezer. Now, just last month on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, Johnson said he used to be a member of the Bloods gang and that he decided to turn his life around out of getting out of solitary confinement while in prison. Listen. I got into school. I got my GED. Um, from there, I got involved in um, correspondence courses. I started interacting with guys who were teaching ART, aggression replacement training, and I started to begin to understand how these concepts work, what positive visualization is, um, deep breathing, how to remove yourself, conflict resolution, all of these ideas of, of change began to take place with me. Um, now, Johnson became a client advocate for the nonprofit law group Queen's Defender sometime after being released from prison. He served two decades for a series of armed robberies in 1999, and that's what right. we know about him. Okay, that's what we know about him now. And then what, where does this go from here? What's next in this, in this case? He's expected to be in court on Monday. He has pled not guilty. We've also reached out to the Queen's Defenders where Johnson worked. They declined to comment, so we're going to wait till Monday and see right. what he has to say. When he was brought out, he yelled to reporters, I'm innocent. So we'll see. You cover stuff like this all the time, but and this would be a terrible story no matter what. But just the idea, you listen to him on the Joe Rogan podcast, the guy looked like he had his whole life together. That's right. And, and he was an, like an example yes. uh, for other people. And That's then, right. And I guess it just shows you never know. But You just never know. And there's uh, there are surveillance photos that we haven't been able to obtain yet, and hopefully we'll have those for you next week, showing what appears to be Johnson coming out of this apartment complex uh, with a blonde wig on. Uh, other people in the apartment complex said there's something weird going on. Somebody's removing bins at 2 o'clock in the morning. This, this doesn't look right. They called police for a wellness check because they heard the shots, and then they heard some but he say, please, please, no. And so, you know, this is just a, a wild story that continues to turn. We know you'll stay on top of that. We yeah. know you'll some reporting next week on the Scott Peterson case. So a lot going on with Laura Engel is always on that true crime beat. But uh, this one is crazy. Thank you, yeah. Laura. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.